everyone is suffering but some are suffering more than the others and you might tend to ask those that are suffering more was there anything they did to deserve this kind of suffering and those that are suffering less is there a kind of partiality with God that some people are very poor while some are very rich or some people are undergoing suffering upon suffering whether mental suffering or health suffering whereas some are very healthy you might tend to ask is God partial you see these are most of the questions that arises that makes you know people not believe in God because um, when you see things like this going on in the world you might tend to believe that there is no God because if there was God why would he allow people to suffer this way but you see God is not partial it's not everyone that was born to be successful it's not everyone that was created to be rich and powerful but everyone was created to be comfortable the problem is that we humans because of our greed for money or for success or for fame we have endangered other humans so that we exploit the comfortability these other people would have had in life used it to step up ourselves to success that's why there is so much poverty in the world the reason i'm saying all this is because you and i have a part to play in life if you have 10,000 naira and some other person barely eats maybe just 100 naira what is the right thing to do you do not have to share your money equally with the other person that doesn't have any money but you can show that person that you care by giving something nothing is too small towards giving now i'm making this introduction because guys i want you to listen to a story i want you to see what has changed the cost and the health of a beautiful woman a mother of two beautiful kids a boy and a girl how her life has transformed from who and what she was to what she is right now please guys i want you to pay attention listen to how her husband narrates how it all started and what later befell his lovely and beautiful wife my name is kb a young and benison's husband and um actually it's been like five years now we've been dealing with it with this it all started um one day when it's she actually went out and came back to tell me that on her way to where she was going to i think that was a market she kind of slumped and after some time she stood up and then like nothing happened and all went about her business and came back so i know she has been she has experienced um some issues with you know a couple of times where she felt dizzy and all so i asked her if it was something like that she said no this one felt very different and all she has never experienced that before i said okay so the fall I also tried to you know, find out if it was something like probably maybe if she fell and maybe hit her head or something wrong we said no it was nothing really significant or, or such and all that I said okay so after a couple of days started feeling you know experiencing fever and all so we thought it was malaria and then she went to the hospital to do run some tests and they told her it's malaria and typhoid you gave her medication and then she go back home while she was taking the medication like day two or three we noticed swellings in her leg we were concerned went back to the doctor or closed by to make complaints and 
well they really didn't attend to it um like it was something serious I thought probably it's just the malaria no so it was as little as that it, it, it you know we started experience the experiencing the whole thing progressing from there after a while she started feeling some cramps numbness up to a point where you know many months later it was difficult she started having issues really moving you know her legs and and hands and all that so well over the years and time it's been prayers and medication a series of tests and um, you know scans x-rays blood tests mri scans and in all of it you know there have been no reports like they could find anything faulty or anything that's wrong so at first it was really difficult to really diagnose and give a name to it it was until you know a couple of years later when one of the doctors um told us that it's a motor neuron disorder and it's something they don't have a cure for so yeah it's 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 been that challenge for long until you know it's also started affecting our speech so that's it and um well it's at first it would be like only when she's you know helped somebody lifts out she can then stand and then gently try fit but without balance that means i would have to hold her until she is able to try fit gently you know but these, these days it's, it's so difficult for her to even try to stand even if she's helped up and all that but Gently, that's where we've been. We've seen um, quite a number of neurologists along, you know, and well, the last two we had, they had she had an appointment with, well, well the, 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 from the conversations and the reports from them, it wasn't a nice one at all. They were a bit raw, trying to, you know, like prepare her mind that she was going to die and all those kind of stuff. So, well, to me it was really an annoying um, experience from doctor so anyways it's it's been prayers and medications uh, happened to, to also be something that was difficult for them to prescribe since they could not really tell what they were dealing with um, but there was a time she was on um, um, STC 30 and um, SNC yeah two drugs from from the same company yeah so we kind of noticed some changes she was gaining strength she could gently push and then stand up on her own then but then it was in that period it became difficult to keep up with those medications because of how expensive they were you know talking to quite a number of people for assistance and not really getting you know the assistance that we thought we could get so we kind of discontinued then and one thing i noticed immediately we discontinued it the reverse was very fast and drastic as if medications were not taken before so that was that um well she has also tried quite a number of of uh, medications one of which which is um was this medication again yeah the new one uh, sorry I'm trying to look out for the pack so I can just um, say the name anyways yeah 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 so um, Miracel yeah so she was taking this for the time according to her she felt a little bit relief inward when she took it but again and that turned out to be another expensive medication that we could only take for a limited time and couldn't continue so we are hoping that 
we'll be able to um, get back on it again because sister maggie has actually been helpful trying to see how she can coordinate and help us get some of these medications so basically that's where we are for now and we are trusting god that um, we'll get results healing you know as fast as possible yeah thank you so much i'm so grateful thank you after listening to her husband i decided to go online to you know make a research on this very disease or what is going on with mrs benson and uh, i found out that that um, it's a motor neuron disease uh, it says here it's an uncommon condition that affects the brain and nerves it causes weakness that gets worse over time there is no cure for motor neuron disease but there are treatments to help reduce the impact it has on a person's daily life and um, the symptoms are first unable to get up unable to stand unable to walk unable to hold anything unable to lift hands um, difficulty swallowing difficulty talking chronic muscle weakness fatigue muscle cramps involuntary movement blurred vision difficulty breathing and cannot walk and mrs benson is only 39 years old this was why I started by asking, why do some people go through a lot of suffering in life? Do they actually deserve this suffering? And the people that are not suffering or have less problems in life, is it that there is a partiality somewhere? No. You may think that everything is not okay with you. You may think you have a lot of problems in life. But I want you to take a moment and analyze Mrs. Benson's situation. And you may agree with me that what you are going through may not equal or level to what Mrs. Benson is going through. And yes, there are people who are going through worse things. Like I said, sufferings are in different levels. But then, this is not the time we should compare sufferings. This is the time we should show humanity. Brothers and sisters, I want us to please show a helping hand to Mrs. Benson. As we have already seen through the research I made that motor neuron disease has no cure. It is only to be managed. But like the husband said, yes, we will join our feet in expecting a miracle for Mrs. Benson. But while we are joining our feet, while we are praying for her, we should also not forget the physical. While we are looking for the spiritual healing for Mrs. Benson, let's not forget to show a helping hand. Yes, the pills, the medications cost money. I personally will support with 10,000 Naira. This is not a lot. I do not know how much the pills cost, how much the medication cost, but I will support with what I can and with what my heart tells me to do. So brothers and sisters, if you are listening to me right now, I would like you to please support Mrs. Benson. Your donation or your giving might not heal her completely, but it will go a long way to help her. So forget about the amount you want to give. Give whatever your heart tells you. Even if your heart tells you to help, Mrs. Benson, with 100 Naira, please do. And God will be happy with you. Not just God, even your spirit would feel right because you have been able to help. And also, if you're a doctor and you know any kind of medication or any kind of, you know, uh, um, pills you can take, that will also help a situation and a condition. That may also be your own help. Not everything is about money doctors if you know any other route or any other way or there is a new development in the research of motor neuron disease that you know can be able to help mrs benson 
your input, your idea and your assistance is also needed. And to those of you who do not know anything about motor neuron disease and you can assist this lady financially, please I implore you, go ahead, help Mrs. Benson. Like I said, you may not be able to cure her with your donations or with your givings or with your help or your assistance. You may not be able to do that, but know that you are doing the right thing. It doesn't matter how small you want to give. It doesn't matter how big you want to give. The most important thing is give what is in your heart. This is not a church preaching. This is not a pastor telling you about giving in and blessings. No, this is humanity. Show love. And as you do, as you do, somebody, someday, will also show love to you. It's your boy, the crackhead, wishing you guys a wonderful time. Bye for now.